gentlemen, welcome Bogdan Sosowski with the winning team. Well, solo, but I think that your winning team is always there. Thank you. Hello. The race to the South Pole started in 1911, and there are two leaders. There were two leaders who led the teams to the South Pole. First one, the British officer, Robert Scott, and second one, the Norwegian explorer and traveler, Amundsen. You know the story, you know who won the race? Who, who knows who, who won the race? Okay, super. And the two teams, what was the difference? So Robert Scott has a huge budget to explore one of the last unknown parts of the Earth. And Amundsen has a great team. Both started in 1911, and one of them survived, and one of them was dead. Because the first one created the team and has spoken to his people, has listened to all the advices from the team. He created the special kind of the skis for the snow. He took the 111 docks, and the second one took the motor slates. And the motor slates on ice drop down to, to the water. Why do I speak about these teams? Because the difference was in the leaders. And the leaders are aware of the team life cycle. And the team life cycle has, in my opinion, four parts. First is formation. And in formation, you have the tools where you have uh, to, to tell the people clearly what is your vision. And why do I tell you about this? Because I have created 90 teams in play, business advisors, who won the market after 10 years. 10 years, 11 years ago, we started to build business advisors teams in Poland, and no one gives us even a chance to win 1% of the market. And after 10 years, we have 33% of the market of Soho and SME companies in Poland. And how we did it? First of all, we make a clear vision where to go, only to the clients which are not interested for our competition. How many of you are the leaders? Raise your hand, please. Thank you. How many of you are the teams of the, uh, how, how many of you are the members of the teams? Okay, thank you. And then, if you have a leader who doesn't have a clear vision, vision of a company is one thing, vision of a leader is a second thing. And you cannot clearly say to people, what is your vision? That is 80% of the old bankruptcies of the startups. The cle clearly vision for people. Second thing is the mission. My mission was to create bigger leaders in the teams that I did myself. And I focused on, on this, how to grow up with the teams, but uh, give the people all the knowledge about the team life cycle that I have. And now, second, second thing in the formation, when the, the team is formatted, is the mission. You choose the mission and put down uh, in your mobile phones on the, on the, or the sheet of paper, what is your mission in the business? Where do you want to go with people who are you inviting to your team? Can you? Can you do it shortly? Put a clear mission which you have. First thing is the target. The target of the group of people is not the same as the target uh, of each member of the group. They are different, yes? We have the target of the group, and you, as a leader, has, uh, the, it's obligatory for you to know the target of each person in your team. Next thing is the recruitment. We combine the knowledge of marketing, HR, and sales people to recruit people. And don't recruit people who are the same like you. Let's find people who, ha who have uh, who has another skills and another abilities uh, as you are. If, if you are not ready to find the people who are different than you, then you, you will make the same mistakes. You will find the same solutions. And if you find another people, then you have the chance to make a synergy of the team. Next thing, if you are going to recruit from the other generations, then make another communication. Communication process depends from the values of the people who you are inviting into your team. 
I mean, for baby boomers, you create another communique than for Generation X and for generation of millennials, I mean X, X and Z, yes? Does it make sense for you? Raise your hand, please. Okay, thank you very much. Next part is the growth part. And when you did everything right in the formation part, so you make clear vision, clear mission, uh, understanding the targets of every person in the team. If you have the recruitment process and communication process, and communication process, I mean, who is speaking with him about what? When your team is bigger than 12 people, you have to change your communication channels to different groups. Then you are going to the growth part, and I wish you, all of you, to go to the growth part, because that's the funny story, really. The, at the beginning, you, we, we worked 12, 14 hours a day to create such a huge channel, and then we are going to the growth part. It's calling the, in Polish, Kula uh, Śnieżna, in English, it's Snowball, okay, Snowball who is starting to create your clients by the recommendation of the clients you have already in your, uh, in your pocket, in your base. And in growth part, you have two things, feedback and feed forward. Who knows the difference? Raise your hand. Who knows the feedback tool? Hello, who knows feedback? Okay, thank you. Feedback is, uh, for instance, when you're going to the client, uh, and after the meeting with the client, two guys are meeting and uh, telling themselves what, what was doing, what, do they, what did they do right and what did they do wrong, yes? 70% of the feedback should be positive and 30% is the area for, for improvement. And Feed Forward was invited by Goldsmith 10 years ago. It's preparing for a meeting with investor, with your client. You can imagine 20 most important people which will be asked by your client or your investor. And how many of you do, do it for everyday, in everyday life? Raise your hand. Who is preparing the next meeting, before the meeting? Now in the, uh, in the, de in the day when we have internet, you can change, you can change the meeting by, by checking everything about your partner, which you have the meeting with, yes? You can, uh, you can create the language which he uses. You, you can check the values which he uh, shows and, uh, in the social media. And we, when you are going to the meeting, you can be prepared. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes? Raise your hands. No? Raise your hands. OK, of course, there, there will be some points at, at every meeting which, which changes, yes? But, but uh, if you have the feed forward tool every meeting, bef before every meeting, that you are more prepared than uh, focusing on, on, on the um, questions which are really simple. In growth phase, you have also uh, two tools, motivation and an engagement. And what is motivation? Motivation is how much do you like your work and why you do it. And on the scale from 0 to 10, you can count how much you are motivated to do your work. Let's put, how let's imagine how, mu how much are you motivated to your work on the scale from zero to 10. For instance, if you are motivated on eight or seven, there are still three points which are uh, your area to improve and which are your area to grow up, yes? The same is with engagement. And how to check it? If you are a leader, just simply ask your people, how much on the scale from zero to 10 are you engaged to your work, in your work? And um, if you know it, you should ask, what should I do as a leader to make you motivated more or to make you engage more? And most people will tell you, give me more, more, more money. Do you know the answer? Who knows the answer? Raise your hand. Yeah? Give me more money. But normally, we, when you think about your motivation, then the first answer is give me, your, give me more money. And the second answer, tell me a good word when I do the good work. Yes? Uh, very rarely in Poland because of the culture. Next part is the maturity part. 
It's also a nice part, but you have to know in which part of the life cycle you are. In the maturi maturity part, you have two, two tools, simple, coaching and mentoring. Who knows the difference? Raise your hand. Oh, wow. Raise your hands once again. Who knows the difference bet between coaching and mentoring? Thank you very much. Mentoring in the books is telling people what should they do, how should they do their work. In my opinion, it's something different. Mentoring for me is telling the people what I did thousand times and you tell me how to do it better. Use your um, imagination, use all your skills, use all your faults to create something better than, than I did, okay? And the second part is coaching. And in coaching, oh, then, then I, I would speak about coaching uh, for hours. I spent six years only to learn how to put right questions. And the right questions are the open questions. The difference between closed and open questions, who knows it? Right? Okay, super. If you are an uh, example, if you, if you have a closed question, is, uh, are you happy? And the answer is yes, no, maybe, I don't know. Yes? And if you put the question, what makes you happy? That's the start. What makes me happy? Talking to you today, sharing for your growth, it makes me happy. What exactly makes you happy in that situation? Uh, makes me happy that uh, I have a new experience. What is interesting in this new experience? It's interesting to speak to the people from the InfoShare because they are from the other business that, that, that was my uh, basic business in play. When, and then when, when I started, I started with 90 teams, 90. And after 10 years, 25 survived. Why? Because the difference were the behaviors of the leaders. They learn themselves, le they learn other people, they, they, they read a lot, they took new tools to, to let the groups grow, to let people grow, not only the business, focus on people. And every, in every book we, we, we read that people are most impro important, yes? And at the, less, uh, at the end of the month we focus on the numbers and we see only the numbers. And uh, if your team has 100, 200 or 1,000 people, because in the, the, the most important port, uh, point uh, during my work for play and building the business advisor teams, it was 1,000 people, then it's really hard to focus on people because you are delivering the numbers for the company. For uh, the members of the board, there are only the, uh, the, 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 the sales uh, targets, yes? And uh, focusing on, on the people is finding the new leaders. And the measure of the leader is the, the number of the leaders he created in his life, not only the target which, which, he, which he has achieved. In, in the maturity point in the maturity phase uh, you have to uh, you have to focus on coaching and mentoring and then be aware that the next phase is declining declining phase which is a, a little bit sad because you are falling down but uh, you know when you are growing and when you are uh, in maturity you are proud of what you did and I lived the cycle seven times seven times during building the business channel in play, we fall down because the uh, competition, because the lack of the clients on the, in the base, in the future base, and so on, because of the uh, many things. And uh, you are going to the declining phase. And first, first thing in the declining phase is the analyzing of uh, uh, clients, which you already have. Uh, share or, or share your opinion about the clients and make them uh, in four groups. First group is an A group. This is a group of the clients which pays you. Second, this is the group of the clients which recommends you. Third, this is a group of the clients which can make an upsell. Group B, 
there are the clients who pays you, there are the clients who recommends you, and there are the clients who are not making an upsell. And third, C group, clients pay, who, who are paying. Second, they are not recommending, and third, they are not upselling from you. And awareness of the clients is the first step to start the cycle once again, to go to the formation, formation process once again, to speak to people about vision, mission, and so on, because you can change it when you are aware which clients are to, uh, to upsell and which clients should be closed closed and which clients should be closed is the group D. The group D means that there are the clients who, who are not paying you or not paying you at, at the time of the payment. And knowing all the phases and knowing a lot, that there are hundreds of tools. It's the base to make a new product you can upsell or new uh, idea or new vision how to grow up once again. And I wish you to find the best advisor on the market. And the best, the best advisor is your best friend, not exactly your wife, not exactly your, uh, your business partner. It's your best friend who will put you the open questions. Where are you now? What do you have? Where do you want to go? It's a strategy, yes? Going from the point A to point B and telling yourself how to do it. And I wish you all the best and be an Amundsen who win the race. Thank you very much.